Despite not winning the gold, American sensation Simone Biles emerged victorious from the Tokyo Olympics after overcoming the demons that had dogged her gymnastics career. Despite some analysts anticipating she could sweep six gold medals in Tokyo, Biles, 24, got bronze in the balance beam, her only event. After taking home the bronze medal, Biles received some very tragic news surrounding her family. In today's video, we're now going to take a look at all the details and everything you need to know about Simone's recent bronze medal and the family tragedy that followed. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Simone Biles wins bronze medal in Brave Olympics comeback, but the shocking family tragedy changed everything for her. The United States had just been beaten by the Russians in the gymnastics qualifying round a week prior, and Simone Biles was under immense pressure to win her country's third consecutive Olympic team title. The Americans could hear the commotion from the rest of the team. They headed into their next session in a panic. Everything went horribly wrong. Her bar act was a complete disaster. Surprisingly, the beam was in excellent condition. She then moved to the floor to practice her floor routine, doing some leaps and turns before attempting to fall. That's when the wires just snapped, Biles said. Things were just not connecting. I don't know what went wrong. Biles struggled for the next week with an unfathomable problem, a gap between her head and body that stopped her from competing safely and effectively. She pulled out the team final while it was still going on, and then she pulled out of four additional finals before they ever started. She met with medical staff on a regular basis and with a sports psychologist twice a week. She was racing against the clock to make sure the last image of her competing at the Olympics wasn't of her barely landing on her feet after a terrifyingly wobbly vault. She did just that on Tuesday night in Tokyo, with a solid performance on the balance beam and a bronze medal to reclaim a podium she had to abandon. Teenage sensations in China, Shenzhen Guan, 16, and Ji Zheng Tang, 18, won gold and silver respectively in the final routine of the night, with Guan scoring 14.633, Tang's 14.233 had come just after Biles, so it was clear from the start that the American would not be walking away with the fairy tale gold. Biles' routine, which included three backflips in a row, appeared to be flawless in execution, but it was judged to be less challenging than the Chinese competitors. Before she had even landed, Biles began to smile, and she was swarmed by other competitors who raced to hug her. She waited waved to the throngs of press photographers and multi-platform broadcasters. I'm pretty happy. I wasn't expecting the medal. I just came out here and tried to do a good beam set. Biles said following her bronze medal achievement. Just to have one more opportunity to compete at the Olympics meant the world to me. She continued, I had nerves, but I felt pretty good, said Biles. I was a little bit nervous for the dismount just because we had to switch it. I probably haven't done a double pike dismount since I was like 12 years old. So it was kind of hard to control that. I know some of us are going through the same things and we're always told to push through it, but we're all a little bit older now and we can kind of speak for ourselves, she said. At the end of the day, we're not just entertaining were humans, and there are things behind the scenes that we're also trying to juggle, as well as sport. My mental and physical health is better than any medal. Biles was asked about the hostility she received from some quarters after she withdrew from the team event while speaking to NBC after earning bronze. She drew attention to the most blatantly incorrect story she felt was being promoted. That I was at no risk and mental health isn't a serious issue. That it was basically a cop-out, she said. The girls saw me in training, my coaches saw me in training, I physically couldn't do it safely because I was getting so lost in the air. She told NBC she was very shocked to have won a medal on the beam. This means more than all of the golds because I've pushed through so much the last five years and the last week while I've been here, said Biles. It was very emotional and I'm just proud of myself and just all of these girls as well. We've had a lot of tears combined because as much as we're happy for Team USA in the back, it was a little heartbreaking to know that she could have been out there. She could have have hopefully earned some medals as well, said Can't You Too Landy. But she was the best cheerleader. She won wanted to be here, she wasn't forced. That was her own will to be here, and she was really proud of all of them. Genkyu Tulandi competed in the 1996 Olympics before retiring from professional sports in 1999. Biles was praised for having the guts to withdraw and defend her safety. According to her, I don't think I would have had the guts to say I'm not okay, she said. I think I would have probably just crashed somewhere and probably injured myself. I think for me, it's the first one at a meeting at the biggest stage to say I'm not okay. A lot of people don't understand it, but we do. I never would have imagined someone saying it, but I know I would 
would not have said a word. I would have just pretended to be okay and keep going and probably not end well. This week, Simone Biles was dealing with more than just her own inner demons. The American gymnastics star confessed her aunt unexpectedly died while she was in Tokyo. Speaking to the media after returning to the Olympic competition and winning bronze in the beam final on Tuesday, former French Olympian Cécile Kankatu Landy, Biles' coach, remarked on the athlete's recent week from hell. That was another one. Kanku to Landy stated, referring to the death of Biles Ann, I was like, oh my god, this week needs to be over. I asked her, what do you need? She said, I'll just need some time. You call me, text me if you need anything, I'll be here. Whatever that is. She called her parents. She said, there's nothing I can do from over here, so I'm just going to finish my week. When I get home, we'll deal with it. According to Biles, the tragedy occurred after she withdrew from many events because of health concerns. But before she returned to earn a bronze medal, highlighting the significance of her victory. Biles' recent days have been marked by dramatic high and lows. She said, it's been a hard week, and at the very least, I've ended it on a high note, and I'll deal with the rest when I come back. We definitely feel for Simone. She has been going through so much in the past week. We cannot imagine the toll it has taken on her mental health, but it's great to see she's back and feeling better, even landing herself a spot on the podium. Simone Biles opens up about twisties and her mental health. Simone Biles is almost always on time for her Aminar vault. There have been occasions when she has peeled off during uneven bar routines, when her landings on the floor have included canyon-sized steps, and when she's tried to cut the balance beam in half with a saw. But as risky and difficult as it is, the Aminar has always been one of her most reliable abilities. So it was evident something was amiss when she completely lost her way in the middle of the two and a half twist during the women's team final at the Tokyo Games. Biles admitted to having twisties during a late night news conference on Tuesday. Twisties is a term for a mental block in which gymnasts lose spatial awareness when performing complex abilities. For gymnasts, it's a well-known horrifying and hazardous sensation. So what are the twisties? It's a term that immediately ignited debate among gymnasts who recognize how perilous the situation must have been. However, it's a term that is unfamiliar to the rest of the globe. The twisties have been described by gymnasts as a mental obstacle, a sudden mental block such as the yips in golf can cost you a putt or a game in several sports. In gymnastics, it can cause a person to lose their sense of space and dimension while in the air, causing them to lose control of their body and perform unintentional twists or flips. In the worst case scenario, they may find themselves unable to safely land. On Tuesday, Biles, one of the sport's finest competitors, appeared disorientated while attempting a vault and fell as she landed. And there you have it, everything you need to know about Simone Biles and her recent bronze medal accomplishment, along with the very tragic news that surrounds her family that came just after her win. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.